the stories about Hello Kitty getting into the big city, uh, coming in, getting her first apartment, and going out and meeting people in the city, doing various things to earn friendships point, friendship points, and then upgrade through her apartment all the way up to the, the super penthouse. And how do you earn friendship points? You basically go out through the city, meet people, and do the things that they ask you to do. Uh, things like you know, take a boat ride and take pictures of the animals that pop up during the boat ride, uh, play a little baseball, hit the, uh, hit the fastballs that the character's throwing at you, or uh, things like make sushi or even dance in one stage. Do you have a favorite activity in the game? I actually really love making the sushi. I think it's probably because I like sushi, but it actually uses the stylus really well because you have to pick the rice, spread the rice, cut the fish, make the roll and then actually cut the roll and you're, you're based on, your score is based on speed and accuracy and overall presentation. So it's kind of like Hell's Kitchen. And are all the other kind of mini games like equally scored the same way? Uh, they are. They're all based on different things like uh, if you go to Tuxedo Sam's restaurant for example, you help them serve customers and there's different rounds and they progress in difficulty as you go up. When does the game come out? Uh, the game comes out end of October, just in time for Hello Kitty's birthday on November 1st. Now we're looking at Pipe Mania. So how do you play Pipe Mania? Well, Pipe Mania is a puzzle game, not necessarily in the, the classic mode, kind of the stacker that you would think of. But Pipe Mania's objective is to get the flues, which is the fluid, from start to finish. On the DS in particular, we do a, a real nice job of utilizing the stylus. You'll see there's a, a piece that drops down that is a kind of a joker wild card piece. And to use it, you just place it and then actually use the stylus to draw the type of piece that you want. So I'll place the wild card there and you know, I'll say I want a, you know, a right elbow piece. So I'll draw that and it'll place it for me. And there are different things that pop up through the course of the game, like these star pieces at the top are bonus pieces. So the objective on this particular board, I need to make a pipe that's 14 pieces in length that also goes through these bonus pieces. I don't have to go through those bonus pieces, but the better I the, to get a better score, I have to go through here. So I want to get bronze or silver or gold stars on each level. So world mode starts off, there's seven different sections with eight levels apiece. Um, you see some of the different types, sewers, railroad, factory, electricity, internet, super pipes, which is the end where you'll face the last boss, which is the cowboy plumber. So when is it coming out and what systems will it be on? Uh, it'll be available September 30th on DS, PSP, PS2, and PC. So there's four different game modes, uh, arcade, classic, uh, the world mode, which you just saw, and a bonus mode. You know, each of them uses the same type of gameplay, but in a different fashion. So 